This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at alpha code from Google DeepMind. So what is alpha code? Okay. So alpha code is a system which can write computer programs at a competitive level. Okay. So what they are claiming over here is that DeepMind has developed a system called alpha code, okay, which can take part in competitions, basically competitive programming competitions, which are hosted on code forces, and it is able to actually generate a program, okay, at a competitive level, okay, and they say that it has estimated rank within the top 54% of participants in programming competitions by solving new problems. And they say that this system has, you know, some kind of critical thinking, uh, logic, right so basically if you have to solve a competitive programming problem then there needs to be a combination of critical thinking logic algorithms coding and natural language understanding right so deepmind is claiming that alpha code can do this okay so they have actually uh, used the data from basically uh, code forces which is a popular platform which hosts regular competition right uh, competitive programming competitions which attracts tens of thousands of participants from around the world who come to test their coding skills okay so they selected for evaluation 10 recent contests each newer than uh, their training data and they say that alpha code placed at about the level of the median competitor marking the first time an AI code generation system has reached a competitive level of performance in programming competitions okay so they released a paper which details about alpha code okay um, so basically alpha code makes use of transformer language models okay so it makes use of the pre-training and fine-tuning paradigm of transformer models so it pre-trains on code and then fine tunes on these problems and solutions from code contests okay then it generates uh, for the problems in code forces it generates large uh, samples uh, basically a large set of solutions potential solutions which are then filtered and clustered to create a small set of candidate uh, solutions basically what they say over here is that uh, they filter cluster and re-rank these uh, large number of potential solutions to you know a small set of 10 candidate solutions basically in this way they are automating the competitor who's who does by a trial and error process right of debugging compiling and passing tests and eventually submitting that is what they are automating okay uh, they show an example problem over here right so alpha code is presented with a problem in this case to figure out it is possible to convert one phrase to another by pressing backspace instead of typing some letter so you are given a phrase you have to convert it to another space but just by using backspace you are not going to type any additional letters so that is a problem so that problem is described over here like this. So basically there is a textual description, the input, output. Okay. Then given this textual description, input and output, alpha code is able to generate this solution. Okay. And they say, you know, what uh, alpha code does over here in terms of it reads the two phrases, right? And then it goes on explaining the solution. They explain the solution over here. Okay. So they have released a paper. Uh, which explains basically a preprint which explains this model in detail okay uh, how the pre-training fine-tuning was done and what other things were done is explained over here they have also created a web page where you can see you know there are certain problems given and for which the solution has been generated they have visualized the attention heads of the transformer over here okay for example this is a problem which is a problem description which has been explained over here um, so here is the problem description there is some metadata for this problem and then you know what is the input what is the output right and these are examples of given a certain uh, certain input how does the output look like okay so given this particular uh, problem description this is the solution which has been generated now if you go to the solution over here and you know if you are to select a line like this right if you uh, highlight a particular line so the various attention head colors are shown over here and it also shows where does it correspond to the problem space okay so for example this for loop uh, it highlights from 1 to n over there similarly m2 line contains okay so that is what is explained over here okay 
So if you were to read this uh, blog, you will feel like, okay, uh, AI pro program can now perform at say a median competitor level in a programming competition. Okay. Does this mean that AI has become very good at developing software programs? Okay. So I don't do competitive programming. So I was looking out, uh, you know, on Twitter or on other platforms to see if what is the view of a competitive programmer about alpha code. Okay, because they claim that alpha code is able to creatively invent solutions. Okay, there is a statement over here from, you know, the founder of code forces who says that I can safely say the results of alpha code exceed my expectation. I was skeptical because even in simple competitive problems, it is often required to not only implement the algorithm, but also invent it. Okay, so alpha code managed to perform at the level of a promising new competitor. I can't wait to see what lies ahead. So this is from the founder of code forces. So does is alpha code, you know, uh, so much hyped up over here in these statements to me, it looks like it has been hyped up. So I was looking out for, is there a person who has done competitive programming? What are his views on alpha code? Okay. I'm sure this is not going to replace or aid in your day to day software development because we, uh, in software development, you are working on different problems when compared to competitive programming. And then you also do a lot of encapsulation of your code into objects. There is classes, there is hierarchy, a lot of other things which come in, right? And even to write proper, uh, textual descriptions like this is really difficult. Right. So even if, uh, you know, uh, alpha code, uh, keeps advancing, but I think, from a regular day to day point of view, uh, for software development, it's going to be a lot more time before you have a AI system, which can do it. Right. So I looked at, uh, you know, Twitter to find out or uh, the other platforms to find out if has somebody written about it. So then I found this particular thread, which is very interesting. So this is from, uh, Dimitri Badano. So he says that I spent thousands of hours on competitive programming. Okay. He has his links of code forces and he says that uh, this makes me qualified to comment on alpha code. He says the result is nice. The benchmark will be useful. The benchmark which they are providing some ideas are novel, but human level is still light years away. Okay. And then he gives a justification of why, uh, you know, he thinks so. All right. So he says that limited time is a key difficulty in competitive programming. Okay. Uh, the baseline human is very constrained in this model versus human comparison for alpha code, the pre-training data, the fine tuning data, the model size, the sampling was nearly uh, maxed out. Such a huge amount of data was used, right? So in fact, the vast majority of programs that alpha code generates are wrong. Okay. He gives back reference to back to the paper. It is the filtering using example tests that allow, allow alpha code to actually solve something. Okay. Example tests are part of the input yet most sample programs can't solve them. Okay. That is what he says. So basically here you have this, uh, you know, sampling, right? Uh, so this is a huge set of solutions which are generated and then they are sampled based on the uh, test cases. So that is what he's, uh, you know, example tests uh, is this thing. So what he says is that again, using example tests is a fair game for competitive program, perhaps for some real world backend development, but for much of the real world code, Crafting tests is not much easier than coding itself. Okay. For example, your uh, unit, uh, your testing should be so good over here. Unit tests and other things should be co crafting that unit test itself is difficult. Okay. Then he says that the paper emphasizes creative aspects of competitive programming. But from my experience, it does involve writing lots of boilerplate code. Okay. Many problems involve deployment of standard algorithms like Levinson style uh, dynamic programming, DFS, BFS graphs and all. So all these things also need to come in. Okay. And he says that alpha code does not exactly copy sequences from training data. That's what they claim in the paper. But he says that's a low bar for originality because a change in a variable name and then it is no longer copying. Okay. It would be uh, interesting to look, look at nearest neighbor solutions found using neural representations. Okay. So what he says is that it is very good. Alpha code uh, is a good work. It uses clustering method to marginalize out differently written, but semantically equivalent program. I think this approach for, can become a code generation staple going ahead. Okay. So he says alpha code is a great uh, contribution and AI for coding is very promising direction with lots of great applications ahead. But uh, you know, this is far from say alpha go in terms of beating humans or uh, alpha fold. Uh, in terms of revolutioning an entire field of science, alpha fold is for the protein fold, uh, this thing from deep mind. Okay. So when I read this uh, particular, uh, 
you know article and the way it has been hyped up i think the reality is slightly different from what has been the hype over here but this is an interesting development um, a very good development in this particular space to like this video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link of this blog okay from deep mind then the paper then their demo as well as this twitter thread okay in the description of the video see you in another video happy learning